The MB-326 is the most commercially successful Italian jet aircraft. It did not only train many pilots, but also fought valiantly. Its achievements have paved the way for the Italian aviation industry to be one of the top jet trainer producers. Now, we are investigating the MB-326, a brilliant tutor, fighter and a showman. The MB-326 was one of the best jet trainers in its time. Its South African variant, the Impala, proved itself in battle. The MB-326 performed dazzling air shows on three continents. Its success was a critical turning point for the Italian aviation industry. The aircraft is the founding father of the successful Italian-built jet trainer dynasty. Italy had been one of the leading aircraft designers and producers since the early 1900s. This country also became one of the pioneers of the works on jet aircraft with the Caproni Campini N1, which made its maiden flight on August 27, 1940. The surrender of Italy to the Allies in 1943 and later the German occupation interrupted this long and successful process. Yet, the early surrender would also provide some advantages. After the Second World War, the Allies went easy on Italy than other Axis nations. The aviation industries of Germany and Japan would never return to the glorious old days. But Italy was quickly able to return to developing the jet fighter business. In this new era, the first significant product of the Italian aviation industry was the Fiat G91 jet fighter, but its commercial success was limited. Aviation technologies were rapidly advancing and Italy could not keep up with this race economically and technologically. The Italian aviation companies realized that competing with powerful rivals from other Western countries was not wise for business. So, they decided to focus on the more uncomplicated light attack and trainer aircraft. In the early 1950s, Maki, today's Leonardo, began a study on a new jet trainer as a private venture. This aircraft would be relatively simple and low cost to produce, operate and maintain. The results of this study were promising, so Maki formally launched the MB-326 program in 1953. The letter M was standing for Maki and B for the chief designer Armano Bazocchi. In 1956, the Italian Air Force, which required a new jet trainer, officially declared its interest in the Maki's aircraft and ordered two prototypes. The MB-326 would compete with the Fiat's G80 in this tender. The Italian Air Force had planned to acquire a simple aircraft without a pressurized cockpit and armament capability. But the chief designer Bazocchi was a visioner. He realized the potential in the international market and designed the aircraft with a pressurized cockpit and armament capability. The MB-326 made its maiden flight on December 10, 1957. This prototype had a 7.8 kN Viper 8 engine. In 1958, the Italian Air Force chose the MB-326 over the G-80. Although the aircraft won the tender with the Viper 8, the serial production variant had an 11.1 kN Viper 11. The MB-326 was into the Italian Air Force's service in 1962. The aircraft had an all-metal structure, manually operated ailerons and hydraulically operated slotted flaps. There was an electrically actuated balance and trim tab in the port aileron and geared balance tab in the starboard aileron. The hydraulically operated die brake was located under the center fuselage. In the rudder and each elevator, there was an electrically operated trim tab. The wing fences at the mid-wing increased the lift characteristics, which made the MB-326 an aircraft that could take off and land with relatively slow speed while it retained a high rate of climb. The aircraft could perform maneuvers of plus 7.33 to minus 3.5 G. With its successful design, the MB-326 broke a series of records in its category in climbing, altitude, endurance and low altitude speed in 1966. Despite its many superior features, no NATO country except Italy chose the MB-326. Some of them had already acquired the Fuga Magister. Also, Breaking up the influence of the USA and the UK, which had been traditional suppliers for many decades, was not easy for Italy. Still, the MB-326 gained considerable commercial success in the rest of the world. The aircraft was the true phoenix of the Italian aviation industry. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, 
Cameroon, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ghana, Italy, Paraguay, South Africa, Togo, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates and Zambia became the users of the MB326. Australia, Brazil and South Africa also produced the aircraft under license. The basic production variant of the MB326 had a length of 10.62 meters, a wingspan of 10.56 meters, a height of 3.72 meters and a wing area of 19 square meters. Its empty weight was 2,618 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight was 3,765 kilograms. The 11.1 kilonewton Viper 11 Mark 45 jet engine provided a top speed of 806 kilometers per hour. The MB326 could reach a range of 1,850 kilometers. Its service ceiling was about 12,500 meters, in other words, 41,000 feet. The basic model of the aircraft was unarmed. The G variant of the MB326 equipped with the 15.24 kN Viper 20 Mark 540 jet engine had a length of 10.67 meters, a wingspan of 10.85 meters and a wing area of 19.35 square meters. It could reach a top speed of 867 kilometers per hour. This variant had a 5,226 kg maximum takeoff weight and a 1,800 kg weapon carrying capacity under its six wing pylons. The MB326G could carry the AS 12 air to surface missiles, besides bombs, machine gun pods, and rocket pods. The Australian licensed production variant of the MB326G was named MB326H by Maki and CA 30 by Australia. This model also had improved avionics. The MB326GC was the Brazilian licensed production variant of the G model. This aircraft was named EMB326 by the producer company Embraer and AT26 Zawante by the Brazilian Air Force. Some sources claim that it also had a reconnaissance variant called RT26. Indeed, in 1975, the Brazilian Air Force installed four Winton cameras on the left wings of some aircraft and assigned them to the third, fourth, and 5th Mixed Reconnaissance and Attack Squadrons. But according to the official sources, these Zavantes were still called AT-26, not RT-26. The MB-326M was a South African licensed production variant of the G model. This aircraft was named Impala Mark I by the South African Air Force. Thanks to its success in light attack missions, the MB-326G gained popularity in the international market. So, Armaki decided to develop a single-seat combat aircraft variant called the MB-336 as a private venture. This aircraft was later renamed as MB-326K and made its maiden flight on August 22, 1970. It had an 18.73 kN Viper Mark 632-43 jet engine, a maximum takeoff weight of 5,897 kg, two integrated 30mm Dufa guns, enlarged fuel tanks, armored cockpit, and reinforced landing gear. The top speed of the MB-326K was 890 km per hour. Armaki also worked on integrating the Matra R-550 Magic on the aircraft. This air-to-air -air missile would be adapted to MB-326K with a special angled rail called the Aero 3B via an adapter. But none of the users chose this modification. Some sources also claim the integration works for the AIM-9 Sidewinder, but we cannot find any proof. It is likely that this was just a rumor or misidentification of a missile. South Africa produced this variant with the name Impala Mark II under license. This local model could carry French-made weapon systems and it had a locally produced electronic countermeasure suite. The Impala Mark II could also launch the V-3B Kukri air-to-air -air missiles. Some sources claim that the aircraft had the capability to fire the V-3C darter instead of V-3B. South Africa sold some retired Impala Mark IIs to Brazil. The Brazilian Air Force gave the designation to them as the AT-31 and AT-26A later. Some sources claim that the Italian Air Force converted five aircraft for electronic countermeasure missions and renamed them as MB-326RM. But we cannot reach any official confirmation or visuals of this variant. There were also some non-serial variants of the aircraft. For example, Maki had initially offered the armed version of the basic MB-326 called MB-326A, but the Italian Air Force was not interested in it. 
Also, the company intended to develop the C variant for the conversion training for the Italian F-104 pilots. Again, the Italian Air Force did not show any interest and chose the TF-104 for the mission. During the 1960s, the Argentine Naval Aviation requested the development of an MB-326 variant for carrier-based pilot training. However, the feasibility studies showed that such a design and production effort would not be economical. So, the plan was terminated. Embraer intended to develop an advanced variant of the MB-326 called EMB-330. This new variant would have a radar, a laser rangefinder, integrated 30mm guns and the capability of firing the AGM-65A air-to-ground and the R-550 Magic air-to-air -air missiles. But later, Brazil and Italy agreed on the joint development of the AMX and the project was terminated. We should mention the MB-339, the predecessor of the MB-326, which was just essentially a highly modified variant. The South African Air Forces Impala Mark 1s and Mark 2s frequently fought over Angola and Southwest Africa. Because of their limited air-to-air -air combat capabilities, they had no chance against the Cuban piloted fighters. So, the Impalas generally flew at an altitude of about 15 meters to avoid the MiG-21s. After all, the South African Air Force used these aircraft for light attack and close air support missions. The high altitude flights were not necessary. Also, the Impala's short takeoff and landing capability on semi-prepared runways made the aircraft perfect for the combats in the region. They could quickly reach the areas where emergency air support was needed and thus became the angels on the shoulders of the South African troops. Officially, the South African Air Force lost only one Impala, which was shut down by a 9K32 Strela II manpads whose NATO reporting name is SA-7 Grail. Another one was also hit by this missile but it managed to return to the base. During the war, the Impalas shut down six Mi-8 and Mi-24 helicopters. With over 300 combat sorties conducted in 1977 and 1978, the MB-326s of the Zaire Air Force became one of the main adversaries of the separatist group Front for the National Liberation of Congo. So, when about 2,500 Katangese rebels took over the Kolwezi and the local airbase in 1978, they immediately destroyed two of these aircraft and damaged another three. Like the aircraft of other users, the Brazilian AT-26 had a peaceful career and never fought. Still, the Zavantes became one of the legends of the Brazilian Air Force. The squadrons, which had these aircraft, won five fighter aviation tournaments in 1981, 1983, 1994, 1995 and 1997. Also, the AT-26 was the winner of the Air Defense Tournament in 1988. In 1987, the engineers of the Brazilian General Command for Aerospace Technology tested the first locally developed in-flight refueling probe system on the Zavante. The result was successful. This test paved the way for locally equipping the F-5s of the Brazilian Air Force with the new in-flight refueling probes. The aerobatic display teams of three countries, the Australian Roulettes, the Brazilian Esquadrilha Aluechi and the South African Silver Falcons used the MB-326s to charm the audience with their daring shows. All military users of the MB-326 retired the aircraft. But some surviving ones are still flying. The MB-326 was the milestone of the Italian aviation industry after the Second World War. Many pilots heard the sound of a jet engine in the cockpit with this aircraft. It was the gallant warrior of Africa. These have made the MB-326 undoubtedly a legend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all the likes, comments and shares.